So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a beautiful bar chart with conditional formatting and dynamic pictures in your chart. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of RBX Excel videos. Please enjoy! So in this video we are going to create this beautiful bar chart which has conditional formatting for the highest score and it has dynamic pictures for the first prize, second and third. And you see the pictures are dynamic because James Smith has the third prize and when I change the score to a 60% press enter you see the third prize goes to Daisy Wilson. And the picture changes to another bar. That's the dynamic part of this chart. We are going to create this chart on another sheet and first we need to add some helper columns for the max, the first price, second price and third price. I'm going to show you which functions we use to calculate the data here. For the max series I'm going to type a function equal sign if the score in here equals the maximum score in my array, fix my array, close the max function. If this is true, then I want to show its score and else if it's not true, I want an NA error. Close my function, press enter. I'm going to drag my function down by double clicking in the corner of the cell and you see 85 is the maximum score. For the first prize, I'm going to use another function. I'm going to type equal sign if opening bracket this score, I'm going to fix only the column in here equals I'm going to use the large function opening bracket and again this is my array I'm going to fix my array and I'm going to look for the highest score so my k value will be 1 close my large function if this is true I want my score added by 0 0.1 and I'm going to add 0 0.1 because my picture needs to be placed a little bit above the bar so I'm going to higher it with 10% and I see I forgot to fix the column in here, so I'm going to do that. Fix the D column. If this is not true, I want an NA error. Close my function, press enter. I'm going to drag this function to second price and third price. And we need to make a little adjustment in here. Because in the second price column, we are looking for the second highest value. So change the 1 in a 2. And for the third price, the same. The third highest value changed to 1 in A3. So I'm going to select these three cells, drag it down by double clicking here. And this is our data set for the chart. Now I'm going to insert a standard bar chart in here. Make it a little bigger. Right click. Click select data. I'm going to add a series. The series name is score. And the series values are the scores. Really simple, press enter. I'm going to add another series. The series name is max and the series values are the maximum column. Press enter. My horizontal category axis labels are the names. Press enter. Click OK and this is our chart. We are going to change some things in this chart. At first we are going to select our vertical axis. Press console 1 and I want to fix this axis from 0 to 100% which is a 1. Then click one of the bars, go to series options and change the overlap to a 100% and I want a gap width of around 40%. Now select one of the grid lines and press delete because I don't want to see them. Select the vertical axis, press delete, I don't want to see that too. Now click one of the bars again Go to the filled line and I want a solid fill of a light green color. And I want a solid line as a border of a dark green color and it needs to be one and a half points. Well now we need to select our maximum series. And while they are overlapping it can be hard to select it. But the solution for that is click this little arrow here and select the maximum series. And you see you only selected your maximum series. For that also go to fill and line, click a solid fill and I want a dark green color to fill and not going to change the border. Now click your horizontal axis, go to fill and line and select no line. Close this window and this is our chart now. We are going to select our chart, go to the formatting menu on your ribbon, 
and click no outline. I don't want an outline around my chart. Now we are going to right click in our chart and we are going to add more series for the first, second and third price. So right click, click select data and add a series. Series name is first price and this is the data. Press enter. Add another one. Series name is second price and this is the data. Add another one. This is the name and the series values are these. Click OK, click OK. Now we need to change the chart type. We need to make a combination of chart types. Right click in your chart, change chart type and go to a combo. The first, second and third price needs to be a scatter plot. So select scatter plot in here for the first, second and third price. Click OK and you see some dots in your chart and these dots will represent the picture, the dynamic picture in your chart. You see my overlap is a little bit ruined by adding the scatter plot, but don't worry, just select your bars, press Ctrl 1 again and set the overlap to a 100% again. We need to add some more things to our chart. We want data labels, so click the plus sign here, select data labels. Now select one of your data labels to select them all, press Ctrl 1, go to the label options and I want to place them inside and. Now I want to adjust the formatting by making it bold, a white text and a little bit bigger. So close this window. This is how my chart looks at the moment. Now we need to replace these little dots for the images and for that we're going to the insert menu on our ribbon. Click icons, search for price. Well, this is the picture for our first price. Click insert. And now we are going again to our insert tab. Click icons. Now I'm going to search for numbers. And I want the second and third price picture. Place them in here. Well, I'm going to need to adjust the size of these pictures. And I'm just going to try something in here. Well, this looks like a nice size. I'm going to change the other two also to a one. Now I'm going to format my pictures. Select all your pictures. Press Ctrl 1. Go to the fill up line. I want no fill, but my line needs to be a solid line. And this nice yellow color. I want them a little bit bigger. I think 1.25 will do. Close this window. And now I'm just selecting the first price picture. Press my Ctrl C, click the dot for the first price, press Ctrl V, and my picture is there. The same for the second price, select it, Ctrl C, select your dot for the second price, Ctrl V. The third price, select it, press Ctrl C, the dot for the third price, select it, and press Ctrl V. I can delete these pictures now, they are not necessary anymore. And all I want need to do is change the horizontal category axis. I want it bold, a dark green color, a little bit bigger. And this is my chart. I'm going to show you another nice feature because I want to hide these helper columns, but you can see what happens when I do that. Click hide. You see my conditional formatting is gone and the pictures are also gone. Press Ctrl Z to undo. Right click in your chart, click select data. Click the option hidden and empty cells and select the option show data in hidden rows and columns. Also the option show NA as an empty cell needs to be on for this chart. Press OK, press OK. And now I can safely hide these columns and you see my pictures are still in my chart. So this is the way you can create this beautiful bar chart with dynamic pictures and conditional formatting. So that's the way you create this beautiful bar chart with conditional formatting and dynamic pictures in it. I hope you learned a lot and that you can create your own chart with dynamic pictures. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more of my videos. Thank you.